Hi everyone, if you've been following gaming news the past few days, you likely would have come across The Last of Us Part 2. There's a lot to be excited about, there's uh, really smooth gameplay, the graphics look fantastic, and of course for many people, there's that certain appeal of using bows and yes bows and archery is back in the last of us now since the game isn't actually out yet i can't play it and therefore i can't give an in-depth commentary on the archery in the game as i normally would in my archery pop shot series which you should check out uh, but i can comment or react to some of the things we've seen in the trailer and gameplay material so far so in looking at the archery used by the main character ellie in the last of us part two um the there are a few things which uh, I picked out which were quite interesting I'm certain that many people who are watching um, who are archers may nitpick as well. Let's talk through some of the interesting observations I've made about The Last of Us Part 2. Our protagonist uses a bow that's not unlike this one. It's a simple uh, bare recurve bow. So that much is easily understood. Now one thing which people will definitely pick out is her technique. Now in the gameplay footage we've seen so far, she uses a two finger draw. And I'll say it right here, there's nothing wrong with this. A lot of people get very pedantic about how they do archery. This is one of those things, three fingers or two fingers. You can shoot with two fingers fine. There's nothing wrong with that, works completely fine. Now, the reason why we get a little worked up about this is because two fingers is actually quite unusual and rare technique, especially now. Now, many people who teach themselves archery likely will have come across two fingers in some way, uh, and it's often a preference thing. They prefer it because it feels more comfortable or it's faster and so on. By and large, however, anyone who's learnt archery from somebody else has probably been taught the three finger method. This is the most common method. It's generally the easiest and the most effective method for using three fingers. Uh, two fingers tend to be a little uh, hard to accomplish without much substantial gain. So again, some people swear by two fingers. It might look a little unconventional and it actually works. So I'm not going to question this too much uh, on part of the game, but most people will be familiar with three fingers. Now the other part which is perhaps more interesting for archers and non-archers alike is how she uses a bow. And that's specifically in a perfectly flat or horizontal position. Now archery normally is done with a straight vertical bow or a slightly angled and canted bow. That's typically how you naturally do archery. But especially during the stealth segments where she's kneeling down and she's taking a stealthy shot, you'll see the main character shoot sideways like this. And that can be accomplished by the way. So I have covered a video on horizontal shooting before. It can be done, but it's usually not done to the extreme like this. So there are problems presented in doing this, one of which is you can't really achieve a full draw. So it's really hard to do this and aim properly. So while I get the idea of what they're trying to do, it's really difficult to shoot like this. Can be done? And also, especially because I'm kneeling down as well, uh, I'm getting less clearance. I'm kind of smacking my arm the way out. So this is not a, an easy shot. And <laughs> like I said, the difficulty in aiming this thing can be a little frustrating. Of course, you know, in the game, we have perfect aiming and gameplay. We hit something there. And I'm naturally bending over to tilt my head to get some kind of sight picture. But this is very much a gut feeling, hip fire sort of thing. Whereas in the game, this is a precision aiming method. And that's a little tricky to do. Like I said, it can be done, but it really changes the uh, flight characteristics of the bow. And it really plays with how you see where the arrow will land. And just do a few more. <laughs> I think this is the real zombie apocalypse. I'd be quite dead by now, because that's a terrible... Oh, there you go, right in the middle. Terrible shooting pattern. <laughs> But uh, yeah, this is not the easiest way to shoot. I mean, with enough practice, you probably could achieve something, but you're really like underutilizing the bow. Um, again, perfectly horizontal, pull it back to the chest, and you can get some mileage out of it. And again, the reason why this wouldn't work very well is that it's not very ergonomic. Um, our arms and elbows and shoulders aren't really meant to hold a bow like this. It's really hard to do this and not pop your shoulder and not hit your elbow. So again, most of the time when people shoot, this is more of a natural idea. So if you're doing this from a normal kneeling position, which can be done, certainly, 
you can shoot like this with a slight cant and achieve a full drawn anchor and then shoot normally. Now, why don't we see this? Uh, probably a couple of reasons. I think the real life logic would be that you're basically using a high profile stance. So if you're being stealthy by kneeling or crouching and then you do this, you're basically giving away um, your stealth advantage by having a high profile. So doing this slower might look a little stealthier to the player. Um, the second reason might be um, the camera angle used in the game. Uh, because it is from behind the back, um, the archer doing this or this might obstruct too much of the screen. So having done this way makes it a bit more natural uh, for the player playing the game. There are ways around this, of course. Uh, many games do have uh, over-the-shoulder point of view or first-person point of view. That isn't really the point of the game, though. So it's a gameplay mechanic which I can get around. So if you're wondering, can you do that sideways? Certainly, that's not a problem. It just looks very weird. It's the best way to shoot and probably wouldn't be very effective unless you really practice it. Now, if this position looks weird to you, believe me, it feels even weirder for me. So, one of the new gameplay mechanics in The Last of Us is the ability for our main character to go prone. And one of the things she can do is to shoot while prone. And she does this by lying on her back and shooting from this position. Now, oh, that's painful. Um, <laughs> this is something which I've basically never seen done. Um, I imagine some kind of ancient tribe might have done this if they practiced hard enough, but this is such an unusual position. It's pretty stressful. So um, basically in the game, she lays down her back and she does a shot. Now we'll try to do this. This is a really weird shot. I can't really pull it back, but we can try. That's a sloppy shot. Let's do a couple more. I think that there might be a secret to doing this, but this is one of the more bizarre ways of shooting which I've seen. I'm trying to lie down with a long bow like this. And this is a long bow, by the way. This is a 62 inch bow, which is fairly short, but that's really clumsy. So we're going to lean up. Okay, the point of aim is completely off. Like I said, it can be done, but this is a lot of creative license. There we go, that's a hit. So, um, that is, oh, that's core muscles usage right there. Um, that's um, probably not something I've really seen anyone try to do. Uh, can it be done? Barely. Uh, again, a lot of these techniques we see the main character do, um, they're pretty uh, unorthodox. Um, they're there for gameplay purposes, so I'm not going to pick that one. Um, it's there for fun and for uh, smooth experience. But uh, that is uh, certainly something which I would not recommend people try to do. Um, I know, again, going far beyond traditional archery, uh, there are different stances and positions you may shoot from, but these last couple are kind of extreme, and I wouldn't expect anyone to actually do this in a practical situation. And again, some of the problems you see is when you're lying down and trying to shoot, it's really hard to pull it back because you've got no space to work with. And again, this is a fairly short bow. The thing's jammed on the ground, so you can't really pull it back. If you're sitting up, you kind of ruin that low profile status anyway, and you're not put, drawing back fully. Um, I can't get my elbow out of the way, so I've smacked my elbow. And it's just really hard to get the muscle engagement to correctly do a shot from this position. That's, oh, man, that's tiring. Now the last observation I want to make is the way she carries her bow and this is one of those trivial things which doesn't look like there's any problem with it but when we actually do it in real life it doesn't actually work it's how she carries her bow now she shoulders her bow very similar to this and it seems to be okay I know some must do this on, in the field and on the range out of uh, practicality so you can um, holster or shoulder your bow like this. Now, there are certain problems with this too. Now, of course in the game, it sticks to a character model, it attaches to some imaginary point, so you can run around and walk around like this. But, to, I'll tell you what, this is not the most convenient way to carry a bow. It feels quite awkward, because you do have this thing on your shoulder, which can slip off any time, right? So, imagine you're running and you jump over something, you have this swinging bow on your arm, 
which is attached to anything else. So now the game gets away with this by allowing the bow to stick to the model so she can crouch and move around as if nothing's there. And this is part of the old gaming trend to make things more immersive by showing the character attach their guns and their weapons uh, on their shoulders or pockets or somewhere else. So that's normal, you can, I can accept this. And one thing we do forget is that gravity will affect the way this bow swings. So, so if you're running, this thing will swing. If you're leaning over, this will lean down over you. So if you're trying to jump over an object and you try and slide over it, this will clip the bottom of the wall or the window or whatever, and this will be knocked off. So this is very clumsy to do. I will only do this when walking around to grab something, but I wouldn't do it as a survival method. Now there isn't really much of another way to carry a bow without looking awkward. Uh, many games to do this. This, they'll get the character to do this. This is perhaps a bit more convenient for long-term carry. It is a little clumsy sometimes to get in and off, but that's probably the more common way. But of course, she's wearing a backpack at the same time, so um, that's probably not working for a backpack. That's why you see the shoulder method being used. But again, you'll see that um, it swings freely. So any movement will make it knock against her leg or clip against any object and if she's trying to do a roll, it'll fall off her shoulder. So that's, um, again, it's something which we have to suspend our disbelief, but uh, not something we'll probably do in real life. Speaking of backpacks, one more mind observation which I thought was pretty cool was the way she holds the arrows in her backpack. Now, normally you wouldn't do this, but given this is a survival post-apocalyptic situation, then you gotta do what you gotta do. It's just carrying a survival backpack. The arrows are very long. They won't fit inside and she isn't carrying equipment of any sort. So this actually makes sense. Now there are specialized archery backpacks and this is an example of one of them. And you'll see that there is actually a giant tube in the back just for arrows. And obviously she isn't carrying a backpack for archery, she's using a regular backpack. And you can stick arrows in the zipper. Um, some people do that for convenience. In fact, there was one guy at my club today who was doing just that out of coincidence. So you can do it. I guess it's a good makeshift quiver. A nice little detail from um, the developers to include this and that definitely can work. Anyway, that's all I've got for The Last of Us Part 2 for now. Uh, there may be more information as the game is released and more people play it and I get to play at some point, hopefully. Um, so if there's anything which I missed or any questions you have about the game or archery, feel free to ask and I'll answer what I can, given what little I know. Uh, if you're interested in more archery commentaries, I do have a whole playlist and series called Archery Pop Shots, where I go through archery in various games. Unfortunately, not including the last of us for now i might get to the first game at some point but you might be interested in some of the other games i've covered in that series and uh, if you have any other questions or observations feel free to comment below i'm new sensei i hope you found this interesting and uh, helpful thank you for watching and i'll see you next time